Hey, in this video, I'd like to talk more on VA and VA appraisals and on some of the misconceptions uh, for uh, VA and VA appraisals. A lot of times I hear about cosmetic items. And if you've been paying attention to this series, I walk you through um, the minimum property requirements for a VA. It's a 52 page document. Yes, there is some subjectivity to it. And a good lender knows how to uh, get involved and work around that subjectivity. So let's hop over to the handbook and the online handbook right now. Cosmetic items. This is something I hear all the time about cosmetic items. I'm going to read it verbatim. The appraiser should not recommend repairs of cosmetic items, items involving minor deferred maintenance or normal wear and tear, or items that are inconsequential in relation to the overall condition of the property. While minor repairs should not be recommended, the appraiser should consider these items and the overall condition rating when estimating the market value of the property. So there are uh, numbers that are assigned to the condition of a property. So if it has excessive deferred maintenance, then it's going to get a lower rate rating than a house that's pristine and that's perfect. The cosmetic items are often a big reason why realtors, whether it be on the listing side saying, hey, we don't want to take this veteran's offer, or on the buyer's side saying, hey, I don't think that this will work. Uh, if you've watched any of these videos, make certain that if you're working with a VA lender, that they're direct to Ginny. When there are overlays, it can be really difficult uh, to have that appropriate communication between uh, the appraiser, the veteran, uh, and everyone involved in the transaction, even the underwriter, in order to uh, to be able to get certain items changed on an appraisal that may just be minor items. So any comments or anything that you've maybe encountered as uh, as a realtor, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.